got the USGS revealing new maps that display potential high damage zones for earthquakes in America. Now, over 20 scientists and engineers have teamed up for this study. It aims to call communities to action. So if areas are alerted that they're at risk for seismic motions, they can improve. They can improve their infrastructure, assess earthquake vulnerability. And Fox Weather's Max Gordon is on this story. He spoke to scientists involved in this project. Max, for some of these areas initially, I saw, I, I thought, you know, the risk of a natural hazard like an earthquake is no surprise, but I guess they've really zeroed in on places that are vulnerable to the shaking. Yeah, absolutely. And about 75% of the country is actually vulnerable to damaging earthquakes. Now, it is important to note that we're still unable to predict earthquakes, but by investigating fault lines and past quakes, scientists can better assess how likely future earthquakes will be and how intense the shaking might be. And all that info has gone into this model. Now, as you can see, there's some places in the U.S. where there's a significant likelihood that a damaging earthquake will hit the next 100 years. Areas in red have a 75% chance or greater of experiencing damaging earthquake shaking in the next century. Parts of Alaska, the California coastal region, the Seattle area, and the Big Island of Hawaii all hotspots with some of the highly, highest likelihoods there. But Americans elsewhere, they need to be ready as well. Nearly three quarters of the country could experience potentially damaging earthquakes, putting hundreds of millions of people at risk. This new model shows the possibility of more damaging earthquakes along the central and northeastern Atlantic coastal corridor. That includes Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, Boston, cities you don't necessarily think about when you think about earthquakes. Those behind the project say that they hope that this information will inform architects, engineers, and policymakers on how buildings and other structures are planned and constructed across the U.S. I think people might be um, surprised or interested to learn about their earthquake um, hazard, but what the real use of this model is for engineers and for building codes, right? So we want to build our buildings and infrastructure stronger for um, basically so that they withstand the next damaging earthquake. This is the first national seismic hazard model to include all 50 states. It also used new tools and technology with, which helped identify nearly 500 additional faults in the U.S. that could produce a damaging quake. Amy? Yeah, this is a really interesting um, release that they've done, and it'll be even more interesting to see how communities take this um, information and start to put something into action. Yeah. How will they incorporate any change based on these findings and what they're, what they're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. Fox Weather's Max Gordon, thanks for that update. Thank you.